What's going on YouTube? This is Player2 here, and this is my first tutorial on my channel that I'll be doing for my tutorial series. And I saw in the comment section that a lot of people want to look or want to look into how to how to use Twixter efficiently. And I'm today I'm going to show you guys how I use Twixter in my montages and I uh, how I use it to keep it from being distorted and stuff like that. So the two things you're going to need today are a no HUD clip and a HUD clip. And of course you're going to need After Effects. That's the main thing. And you're going to need uh, Vision Plugins, uh, Twixter, and, or Twixter Pro, uh, whatever it is, Twixter Pro. I use the normal Twixter, I don't use Pro, because i a uh, slacker, or something. <clears throat> but, let's get started. I don't feel like wasting my time talking about random crap. I'll do that in my commentaries. Lols. So, first thing you want to do is uh, drag in the uh, no HUD layer, which I've already done and you want to you want to place them you want to place the no hud and hud layer together so that they match up and you want to drag it so that they match up perfectly and evenly so that there's no weird stuff like um, like this as you can see if you can see it see how it's sort of ahead of each other you don't want to have that so you want to match them up nice and nice and tight so they look perfect so that when you make a transition from from HUD to no HUD it looks perfect and you don't have any trouble dealing with um, it looks like I don't even know crap I'll just say that so the second thing you want to do is keyframe the opacity of the no HUD layer so that it fades in nicely to to create the no HUD and then um, after you do that you want to find the spot where you want to put the Twixter, and you're going to be putting the Twixter on the no head layer. So, um, yeah. So drag, drag to the point where you want to have the no head start first of all, and you want to have the no head start before you want to do the Twixter. You don't want to have it unless you want to do it like a no head montage, whatever. Do that. So um, you're going to have it that right there. Um, then you're going to drag the ending of the no head layer and drag it on the timeline to however long you want it to be. I'm just going to make it a quick twixter so it it's nice and quick so I can get this tutorial done with and not keep you guys waiting. So uh, once you've done all this uh, you're going to go to Effect Vision Plugins and Twixter or Twixter Pro, it doesn't matter. And uh, another thing you... I didn't mention that, but another thing you want to click is Enable Frame Blending for All Layers with the frame blend switch set. So you want to click that. It's like a little, looks like a little film uh, thing, but it's uh, three frames blending together. Blah 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 blah. After Effects. Blah, blah. That's what it says. Um, so once you get that, uh, you want to. Once you have Twixter on as your effect on the no HUD layer, not the HUD layer, the no HUD layer. You want to go to the point where it's just before the kill. Uh, so there's the kill. I want to go back just like uh, right there. Right there's fine. So I'm gonna have it. Uh, I'm gonna have the Twixter start right here. So I want to start. So I want to go to speed. I want to go um, to the starting, and I want to hit keyframe the speed, and keep it at 100%. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go forward one frame, and I'm gonna put the speed at around two. Or th yeah, well, it's just, um, so I don't really go usually above. Uh, above three percent because I don't like having a faster Twixter. I really like it nice and smooth and slow. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, that was stupid. I'm sorry. But uh and then uh you just wanna see like uh how it looks. And you can see here that the Twixter is almost perfect. There's no distortion at all because you don't have that crappy HUD stuff where it looks like poo poo and you just have a bunch of annoying shit in it. So once you have okay, so that's pretty much it with the Twixter wise. Now uh, you're wondering how do I sync it up to where uh, see how it after the Twixter it kind of just goes to the end of the clip. Where did the double kill go? I didn't see it. So what you want to do? All you all you have to do simple stuff. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, go to the HUD layer. Hit Control D to duplicate the layer, and you just want to. You just want to easily, simply just drag back to the point where the HUD stops. 
you just want to drag it of course you don't want to have you don't want to have it uh, you want to have the beginning of the duplicated layer after the Twixter layer has already started because you don't want to have the uh, the HUD layer randomly show up at some point so um, yeah so that's that's the blah blah that's how you do that that's simple simple as that um, I know this has been I think I hope a quick tutorial and I hope some of you guys use it it's just how I use Twixter um, and of course you wanna I never did mention I didn't mention uh, once you bring the HUD clip back you can either fade it in or whatever fade it out fade the no HUD clip out so it comes back but it really just kinda looks it looks normal just kinda letting it be and just letting the kinda kill the kill come so I'm just gonna might as well just RAM preview it and see what it looks like see what the final product looks like and it looks pretty good there's no uh, distortion or whatever just make sure you listen to what I had to say here if you don't want to use this technique you don't have to but I just love using it and I'm sure there's probably easier ways to do it but for right now I'm gonna use this way and um, yeah that's how I do it so that's what it looks like that's what the twister looks like and bam there's the kill oh yeah. play it one more time beautiful nice clean twixter and psh, the kill double kill um so yeah guys thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions please comment below and also uh please comment with some feedback as well as what tutorials you want to see next and i have uh them all written down on a notepad with uh what tutorials i'm going to be doing soon and i'm going to be giving shout outs to the people that commented for giving me the ideas so uh, thanks guys again for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial there's a lot more to come I know this is really basic and it's gonna start out sort of basic so for you more experienced editors I'll be getting into the harder stuff soon and um, yeah so until next time guys this is player two and I'm out of here